Hello, I'm Mark Kep from CampgroundViews.com, the best place to find, see, and share campgrounds and RV parks. We're here in Bradenton, Florida, at the lovely Timberlane RV Park, or what will soon be Timberlane RV Park. See, we're going to tell you a little story today about opening up a brand new RV park and the process you have to go through to get this into this. We get an inside look and get to speak to the owners about what it's like to take nothing and turn it into something that people are willing to pay for and hook up their RVs at. It's an interesting story and maybe some tips if you're thinking about starting your own RV park or want to know what goes on to actually open one of these places. Plus, we found a free thing to do outside of Tampa that is really cool, really interesting, and allows you to see manatees up close in the wild. First up, Timberlane RV Park in Bradenton, Florida. Yeah, I'm Steve Simone, and this is my family, my wife Debbie, my daughter Lisa. We own the park. We asked for them to tell us their story. Yeah, the gentleman that started it started almost 20 years ago, and he had a couple of starts and stops, and he had done a lot of the, in the front half of the park, he's done a lot of the infrastructure development with the sewers and the water and that. And uh, we had to recertify it all because it's, uh, it's been inactive for quite a while. Uh, but in the back, we've got ZNS Engineering here in town, engineering the back, and we're trying to permit that with the county. And hopefully by the middle of this year, we'll start uh, putting the infrastructure in the back. And when we're done, we'll have about 108 sites. So is it easy? Uh, it takes a lot of work. You didn't just jump into this. Yeah, no, we planned it. It's uh, Again, I'm retired. I had a neighbor in the Florida Keys that owns a few of them, and uh, he talked me into the fact that I'm fairly handy and the family is very close and doing projects, so he said, you guys might want to try it. So we did some research, and we're, uh, we're new to it, but it's, uh, it's, it'll be an adventure. So as you can see, the property is really looking good. They've kept a lot of the natural trees, a lot of natural plants. They've planted over 600 plants in addition to what they've cleared out. So really it's a very natural looking park. The sites are about 60 feet deep, but in taking over the park that was started 20 years ago and never finished, they had to re-permit a lot of stuff. And you've got things like this. This is an address. That way if there's an emergency call to this site, 7536, there's actually a physical address at that site where the emergency responders can go. Problem is there's no curbs, so they had to put posts up. Now if you're an RVer, you're looking at this post going, well that's ridiculous, how am I going to back into that site without hitting the post? They were smart enough to realize that you would ask that same question, and so what they've done is they've come up with this idea. PVC plastic in an oversized hole comes right out. Weighs about five pounds, get it out of the way, park your rig. After you're done, your address is right back. So smart, sticking to the codes and making it work. And that's what's cool about this. And we've learned that in speaking to them and kind of watching how they work, is they're making this work. It's not easy to open an RV park. It's definitely not cheap, but it can be very rewarding. Saying goodbye to the Simones, we headed over to the Manatee viewing area next to the coal-powered Teco power plant. Like the snowbirds that flock to Florida in the winter, the manatees flock to the coal power plant to lounge in the warm waters ejected from the facility. It truly is a stunning contrast between the industrial looking power plant and the pod, is that the right word for manatees? Is it a pod, a school, a grouping, a gathering, or maybe it's just a rally. It's like an RV rally of manatees. All hanging out in the water, that's a nice 68 degrees, sticking their nose up every once in a while to take a breath. It's just looking pretty cool. There's a great viewing decks, nice little walkway, gift shop, cafe, and all sorts of fun stuff. Best part of this, it's all free. Check it out. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and check out the site at campgroundviewsviews.com.